Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss some important multiple choice questions with answers from the subject VLSI Design, Unit 3, Sequential Circuit Design. First question, clock sequential circuits have four options are given. Option A, two phase overlapping clock. Option B, two phase non overlapping clock. Option C, four phase overlapping clock. Option D, four phase non overlapping clock. So, clocked sequential circuits have option B, two phase non overlapping clock. Next question, which are easier to design? Option A, clock circuits. Option B, asynchronous sequential circuits. Option C, clocked circuits with buffer. Option D, asynchronous sequential circuits with buffers. The correct answer is option A, clocked circuits. So, these clocked circuits are easier to design. Next question, inverting dynamic register element consists of dash transistors for NMOS and dash for CMOS. So, for inverting dynamic register element, it consists of 3 transistors for NMOS and 4 for CMOS. Option C is the right answer. Next question, register cell consists of option A, inverter. Option B, pass transistor. Option C, inverter and pass transistor. Option D, none of the above mentioned. The correct answer is option C, inverter and pass transistor. Next question. For signals which are updated frequently, dash is used. Option A, static storage. Option B, dynamic storage. Option C, static and dynamic storage. Option D, buffer. The correct answer is option B, dynamic storage because the signals are frequently updated. Next question, static memories use dash feedback to create a bistable circuit. So, static memories use positive feedback to create a bistable circuit. Next question, a common name for a bistable circuit is flip-flop because it can store two values, 0 or 1. So, it is a bistable circuit. Next question. Each stage in pipelining should be completed within dash cycle. So, each stage in pipelining should be completed within one cycle. So, option A is the right answer. Next question. To increase the speed of memory access in pipelining, we make use of dash. Option A, special memory locations. Option B, special purpose registers. Option C, catch. Option D, buffers. So, to increase the speed of memory access in pipelining, we use catch. So, option C is the right answer. Next question, what is a trigger pulse? Option A. A pulse that starts a cycle of operation, a pulse that reverses the cycle of operation, a pulse that prevents a cycle of operation, a pulse that enhances a cycle of operation. So, trigger pulse is a pulse that starts the cycle of operation. Option A is the right answer. Next question. A multivibrator is an electronic circuit used to implement dash. Option A, oscillator. Option B, timer. Option C, flip-flop. Option D, all of the above mentioned. So, here a multivibrator 
can be used to implement oscillator, trimer and flip-flop. Therefore, option D is the right answer. Next question. A stable multivibrator is dash in any state. So, a stable multivibrator means it does not have any stable states. Therefore, it is unstable. Option B is the right answer. Next question, monostable multivibrator has dash state. So, for monostable multivibrator, it has one stable state and another one unstable state. Therefore, option C is the right answer. Next question, bistable multivibrator is dash in any state. So, bistable multivibrator means it will be stable. Therefore, option A is the right answer. Next question, which circuit converts irregularly shaped waveform to a regular shaped waveform? Option A is metrigger, option B voltage limiter, option C comparator, option D none of the above mentioned. The correct answer is option A is metrigger. So this will convert irregularly shaped waveform into a regular shaped waveforms. Next question, the circuit which is also called as one shot is useful in generating pulses of a known dash. So, known length. Next question, a Smith trigger responds to a slowly changing input waveform with a fast transition time at the output. True or false? The answer is true. Next question. The combination of the glitch generation circuitry and the latch results in a dash register. So, positive edge triggered register. Next question, dash circuits accept small input signals and amplify them to generate rail to rail swings. The correct answer is sense amplifier circuits. So this will accept a small input signal and amplify them to generate rail to rail swings. Next question. A C square mass based pipeline circuit is dash as long as all the logic functions between the latches are non inverting. The answer is race free. Next question On practical chips, the RC delay of the wire resistance and gate load is very long. Variations in this delay cause clock to get to different elements at different times. So, this is called as clock skew. Next question. Flip-flops are sensitive to skew because of dash. So, because of hard edges. Next question, the dash time is the interval before the clock where the data must be held stable. So, the answer is setup time. Next question, the dash time is the interval after the clock where the data must be held stable. So, it is hold time. Next question, most of the current day flip-flops has zero or negative hold time. True or false? The above statement is true. I hope this video will be useful for your online examinations. If you like this video, kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.